Uh, welcome to our continuation of our discussion on differentials. So this time class will uh, solve some exercises uh, in finding the approximate value of the following uh, radicals using differentials. Okay, so I will solve uh, this part here and then this first item and then I leave the rest no, for your practice. Okay. So find the approximate value of the following radicals using differentials. So item uh, A, first uh, problem. So we're given the square root of 4.1. So what is the approximate value of this no, using differentials? Not, not using your calculator, but using differentials. Alright, so here's the solution. Uh, first, we need to let your y equal to uh, f of x. Then, if we let f of x equal to the square root of x, then we have y equal to square root of x. And then, differentiating both sides. So, when you differentiate both sides, so we have uh, dy over dx equal to 1 over 2 times square root of x. Okay, so I hope you don't have any question of this class. You just uh, express this in terms of uh, rational exponents and then apply the power rule to the, in differentiating both sides. And then after uh, simplifying, you will get this. Uh, derivative of y with respect to x equal to 1 divided by 2, time, 2 times square root of x. Then if you are going to multiply both sides by dx or you just cross multiply dx so you have dy equal to 1 over 2 times square root of x multiplied by dx now if we know only value of x and dx then we can solve for dy because uh, as mentioned earlier class in our uh, uh, principle no? we have the y equal to f of x uh, approximately equal to our dy, our differential y dy equal to uh, or the, the value of our f of x plus delta x equal to f of x plus uh, dy. In other words class, we are going to express this given square root of 4.1 as uh, f of x plus delta x. So we have to break this into two parts that it will look something like this. And then this is equivalent to f of x plus uh, dy, where dy can be calculated using this. Uh, uh, differentiating both sides the given function and solving for dy. So once you get the dy, then you just uh, substitute in this because our square root of 4.1 is approximately equal to f of x plus delta x. Alright? So... If we continue from here, so if we let f of x equal to square root of x, now for x equal to 4, okay, by the way, why we come up with x equal to 4? So take note, class, that uh, 4 is a perfect square, and you see here, uh, square root of 4.1, this is actually, uh, square root of 4 is equal to 2, so this is more than 4, so we can expect that our answer is 2 point something, right? So we assume here x equal to 4. So, this is uh, very close to, I mean, this is a perfect square. So, when you break this into two parts, no? so when you break this, now we can solve for dx class, no? From here, if you have x equal to 4, uh, substitute it here, then our problem is dx. So, how to find dx, right? So, we start from this one, we have to break this into two parts. Uh, we have to express this in terms of x plus delta x, no? To follow this. Uh, uh, formula here so f uh, square root of 4.1 we need to express this in terms of f of x plus delta x so we break this into x plus delta x so we have here x equal to 4 alright so now we can solve for our delta x so what the what is the value of delta x such that when you when you add it with 4 you will come up with 4.1 Okay, so therefore, this is equal to 
uh, 0.1 because 4 plus 0.1 is equal to 4.1 exactly this all right so we have satisfied this uh, equation here <clears throat> so now we can solve for dx so to solve for dx since our dx is equal to delta x so we can directly get the value of our dx from from this okay so this is equal to 0.1 or another way is you just subtract what is inside in the given radical so this is our radicand minus uh, the value that you have assumed no, for your x so we have here uh, 4.1 which is uh, the radicand minus 4 4 is the one that you have assumed here okay so that is equal to 0.1 or simply express this one in terms of this so break this up into two parts okay and then uh, we're just following this formula here uh, specifically this part of the formula so we have your x then you have your delta x where our delta x is equal to dx right so we got this equal to 0.1 so therefore so substituting the values so dy now can be solved y dy equal to 1 divided by 2 times square root of x where x equal to 4 multiplied by dx where dx is equal to 0.1 so therefore dy is equal to 0 0.025 <clears throat> okay and then following this formula here following this formula so we know that f of x plus delta x is just uh, this one okay which is broken into these two parts then you have f of x so f of x is we have y equal to f of x which is the square root of x right and now you have dy so therefore this one which is equal to the given radical okay then is equivalent to f of x plus dy okay so our f of x which is equal to uh, here with the square root of x so substituting in the formula so f of x plus delta x therefore equal to uh, 4.1 equal to this one f of x plus dy so our f of x equal to square root of x where x equal to 4 then plus dy so square root of 4 is 2 our dy calculated as 0 0.025 so therefore our f of x plus delta x which is equal to 4.1 is equal to 2.025 okay so that's how easy is this one class All right so i hope you understand this one and i'd like you to try also uh this numbers here all right so here for this uh example for this part so i'll just give you the hand on how to solve so here uh what do you think is the value of your or what is your y here so when you choose for the value of x class it should be uh, it should be something that is perfect no perfect uh, in a sense not perfect square sha or perfect cube so if this is uh, square root so your x must be a perfect square so what is a perfect square that is closer to 24.8 so that's the question so that will be your y equal to that oh, so this is square so square root of x your x should be uh, that is a perfect square closer to this number or if you choose this one I mean for this item item B so we are uh, given a cube root cube root of 27 so again you have to express your y as a function of x uh, this time your function of x should be in terms of cube root right so this should be equal to cube root of x and you have to figure out what is your x here so now since this is cube root so uh, your x here must be something that is a perfect so it should be a perfect cube so what number that is a perfect cube that which is closer to this given radical okay and just do the same process class the first thing you need to do is to uh, differentiate then look for the value of your x it should be a perfect cube in this case in this case it should be uh, a perfect square right and 
after that this uh, after differentiating you cross multiply the dx or you have to multiply both sides by dx then substitute substitute the values and your dx can be can be solved no by breaking out or breaking up this into two parts like we what we did in our example okay so i hope you can uh, solve this and uh, i will make another video uh, later on and just compare your answer class so perhaps one of this i will solve okay so thank you very much and see you again in our uh, coming videos uh, stay safe and healthy always god bless bye